to show you what's on my brand new red iPhone 13. So let's get straight to it. The first thing you'll notice is the home screen wallpaper. I tried to go for a red and black aesthetic because yeah, as I said before, my phone is red. So I thought this really complements it well. Although Carmel Fiber is not entirely black, it still works. And I chose the Koenigsegg logo because it's my favorite car manufacturer, so it works for me. As the first one you notice as I open my phone, it's the red, it just pops out, it's in your face, which is what I love about this aesthetic. It's just hard to ignore. So yeah, the, at the top we got the day, we got the time, and the car I put is the Koenigsegg Yesco, one of my favorite cars. Then I, when you swipe up, you see the reminders app. I think it's really important to have this there because when you're on your phone, it's just good to be reminded what you have to do for the day. I haven't put anything yet because it's still a new phone for me. Yeah, but once I start using it, I'm going to start putting all my reminders on this phone because I think it'll be really helpful. Well, yeah, next you'll just see all my red icons, red and black, some are black and red. Yeah, I just think it looks nice. Just got my camera, clock, calendar, weather. I just changed most of the apps. I didn't change all of them. I just changed a few of them and just put them on my home screen. Because I think that would just matches the aesthetic even more. Because I didn't want to use the default ones because it doesn't really match. And then next you'll just see my calendar next to it. It's the same, literally the same as my home lock screen wallpaper. And yeah, I just thought that was a nice addition. Because it just matches the whole aesthetic. I even show you guys that it's literally just the same as my lock screen. Yeah. See, it's just the same. I'm going to unlock my phone now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for all the widgets. I do have a battery widget because I'm not sure how to get like the battery percentage on. I'm not sure if that's a feature. I haven't played around this phone too much, so I just thought it would be nice to see what like my battery percentage actually is instead of having to swipe down all the time. I actually just got my app store, like where I can get all my apps. You guys probably know about this anyways. And yeah, then you got calculator. If I want to make quick calculations, you can see I've already been using it for I don't even know why. Next, you'll see that I have my settings in case I just want to adjust anything. And then my photos here. And that's pretty much all the apps on the first page. But as you guys can see, like on the dock, like I changed even changed the icons here. So you got the phone, Safari, messages and Apple Music. I just thought this really matches the phone. So yeah. Now for the second page, we got, yeah, that's a hood of a conic egg. I made sure the castle of red too, so it can match. And we even got all my like storage apps. I even put a Apple Health there so I could just always check how I'm doing for the day. I even got a widget for that too, but I'll explain that in a bit. So we've got iCloud, we've got Google Drive, Google Photos, Health Apps I already mentioned. They've got Google Maps, News. Apple Maps and Notes in case I just need to make some quick notes. Yeah, there's all the apps there. Yeah, I added this lovely widget. It's a clock, analog clock. I thought that was really nice. I made it so you can have the Koenigsegg logo for the Ghost Squadron. If you guys know what that is, let me know. If there's any Koenigsegg fans, just let me know in the comment section below so I can get in touch with you guys. But yeah. Even at the bottom widget, I have so you can see all my steps for today because... I know because today it, I didn't really set it up like really early, so I don't have my actual recorded steps for today, but I walk around a lot, so it's just nice to see how many steps I do. For the third page, you'll just see not really much here, just all my socials. You got the Yesco actual logo thing for it there, and then we also got the uh, Koenigsegg Yesco just facing the front. I only did three pages because I thought that was just only necessary because I don't want to be swiping too much. So we've got Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, Steam Chat, Contacts, Discord, Facebook, Messengers, Line, Steam again, and Twitter. I probably have more socials, but I just haven't moved my, all of them to this page. Probably they'll, You'll probably see them more in the all apps, which is what we're going to see now. So yeah, this is literally all my socials. Don't think I missed anything, no. A few there. Then this is my utilities. This is just what I use when I need them. All my productivity apps. Nothing really much to see here. Any apps I just want to use for creativity. This, uh, this is what 
that Apple has done by default. This is where it gets really interesting. This is where we can see all my games. So I have like 11 games on my phone. I just download them in case I just want to pass time. So yeah, we've got Minecraft here. Yeah, I only really play this when I have free time, but it's just good to have them. It's always good to have something to do to like relax. This is probably the first time I'm loading Minecraft. I got it, but I just never really opened it because I didn't really have the time until now. But yeah, it's a fun game. You can survive, build. So I'm sure some of you guys know what Minecraft is, but yeah, it's just fun to do. Like when you're passing the time, you can, there's literally no limits, only your imagination. You can build anything. If you want to move or explore the world in survival, you can do that too. Next, we have like all my other games Among Us, Angry Birds, Transformers, CSR Racing 2. Then we've got Geometry Dash, which is a game where I highly recommend. It is really fun. It tests your memory, it tests your reflexes. I will give you guys an example now. So, yeah, the point of this is to get to the finish, get 100% on the level without crashing once. So, you, as you can see, that crash, I just had to keep doing it again. I've done this level before, but it's just to show you guys, like, yeah, you have to just not do this without crashing. It's really fun. It can get frustrating at times, but overall, it's really fun. And it has re sometimes it has really good music, too. So, yeah, I suggest, like, if you want to play this game, you should play it, like, with headphones, because, or play the music out loud, because sometimes there's some parts of the level that's literally in sync with the music. So it'd be, like, better if you could play it with the music. Alright, so next is just like all my other games. I got a few racing games like Roll Racing 3, CSR Racing 2, Pokemon Go, don't judge on that. But this is Roll Racing 3. This is probably my favourite real racing game. This game can get pretty like competitive, so I don't really suggest to play this to pass the time because it will literally eat your time when you're playing this. But yeah, I really enjoy this game so much. I'm not really that far into it, but... Yeah, I just do it to pass the time. Sometimes it takes too much of my time. But yeah, overall I really enjoy that game. The best thing about these games, I, I don't think, apart from CSR Racing 2, all of them don't really take that much storage so it doesn't like waste space on your phone. And yeah, then as my music too, I pretty much use all the music apps. Probably missing a few, but Shazam I love the best because say if I'm at a shop and I hear a really nice song, but I can't actually like know the name Shazam just does the magic for me which is lovely one more thing to show you guys is my widgets this is widget 1 I can change it to like whatever widget I've created so I'm going to change it to widget 20 and you'll see it's just a logo of Koenigsegg yeah it just I just think this is a lovely feature I can do this for like I set up 20 to just play around with see this one's the Koenigsegg Agera R Agera means to take action, so I just put that as a quote there, which I thought was a beautiful feature for myself. So I'm just changing it back to the regular widget. I'm going to show you an example for the small one. I highly recommend you guys just play around with it. I use color widgets. I find it better than the widget smith because you can edit it more and you're less restricted with this one because you could just do it to your heart's contempt. Obviously, there are some premium features, but with... Widget Smith, I felt that there was less options for me to do this layout. I would not have been able to do this layout with Widget Smith. See, so now we've got the Gera Art logo. I'm going to change it back to what it was before. I feel like this is probably the best layout I've ever seen. Probably I'm a little bit biased on that, but this is the best that I've seen for a red iPhone. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Here we got the system app widgets. I haven't really messed around with them. I just left it like this because I felt like this is fine for me. I know some people could change it around, but I like it like this. We've got my screen time there. As you can see, Snapchat's just what I use the most. I also have the weather widget there, which is important for me so I can know what clothes to wear depending on the weather. And yeah, that's pretty much what's on my phone. Hope you guys like the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.